got the floor cleaned up. Time to move in some equipment. Found my weight plates. All right, so I think I got everything uh, in one spot here. Be able to do some stuff inside. I also have my tire outside. Part of the challenge is still um, yeah, we still got all this snow and ice up here. It's just like a thick sheet of ice. I don't really think you can see it on camera, but. So I'll probably show you a little bit about what I'm working up. So my uh, plan has uh, been, so I came off the fast, gave myself a few days to enjoy some food and stuff like that. I am going to begin doing the circuit workout, probably do that for about, I'm going to set one up, do it for about a month, and then also intermix uh, some intermittent fasting. I was doing intermittent fasting, like, you know, you have a window to eat, you have an eight hour window to eat every day. So from like noon to 8 PM and you have to, you know, you need to eat all your food, uh, for the day in that eight hour window. Uh, however, I didn't really like that because I like breakfast. I like to eat breakfast with my family. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try a 24-hour fast. Like, basically every three days, I'm going to go noon to noon. So, uh, stop eating noon one day. So, I'm going to skip uh, probably lunch and dinner, skip breakfast the next day. And then I can begin eating again at noon the following, the following day. Um, and then do that, like, every three days. So, it'll be... You know, some days I'll be skipping breakfast, other days I'll be skipping dinner. But I'm fine with that as long as sometimes during the week I get breakfast. Uh, love breakfast. Don't know why anybody would ever eat anything other than breakfast food. People are idiots, Leslie. All right. Um, parks and Recreation, y'all. All right, but I'll show you some of the... Uh, Work up, work out stuff I'm drawing up and everything. Hey, uh, day one here of me getting back uh, into the swing of things uh, with this. I finally got my, uh, I say finally, I uh, got my uh, routines all penciled in there uh, that I'm going to be doing. Uh, Sunday is just going to be maybe taking a jog or I put a two mile walk there. Uh, but um, I'm only doing four. I'm only doing four uh, circuits, or four stations, I should say, per circuit. I don't want to overdo it on my first kind of time back, and I might even scale these depending on how much I'm sucking wind or or whatever. Um, but just didn't want to overdo it. Uh, so, uh, what am I doing? I'm actually going to go on a quick run here. 
usually five minutes or so just to warm up the body. Uh, if you can, it's uh, actually got snow coming down out there. Um, and I actually got one, got my tire out there with my sledge, eight pound sledge for uh, one of the exercises I'll be doing. Probably won't won't show you the whole workout, but um, highlights of it. Um, so uh, the trick with this is you do these four stations in circuit, uh, exercise for a minute. Um, I usually I have a rest period set on my interval timer for about 30 seconds, uh, sometimes more. Depends on how I've got the station set up because I might need more than 30 seconds to get over or get set up to get into it. Uh, and then the interval timer goes off again. But rest for 30 seconds, do work for 30 seconds at the different stations, uh, and then you repeat three times. Uh, and that's, that's your workout. Do a cool down, maybe stretching, also stretching on Sundays. Um, yeah, I'm going to go take that run, and then you'll see me do some stuff with probably some obligatory uh, cliche workout music in the background. One more, one more second. <laughs> All right, guys, spun the camera around here so I can kind of see where I'm at in the frame. But uh, that was day one, uh, getting back on the horse there with uh, combat strength training or just getting back on the path myself here. Uh, for anybody that wants to know, uh, the weight in the sandbag is 50 pounds plus the trash bags and duct tape uh, and the sea bag that it's in. Uh, I'm all about doing what you can with what you have or keeping costs way down. Uh, that's a 50 pound sandbag from Home Depot. Uh, sorry, 50 pound bag of sand, not to be confused with a workout bag. 50 pound bag of sand from Home Depot, contractor trash bags, a roll of duct tape, and a sea bag from uh, Army Surplus store. So put the sand in the bags, tape it up, throw that in the sea bag bob's your uncle uh the bags you can get from 511 or rogue are great um they have all the extra handles on them and everything but i like this because you have to you have to bunch that bag every time and you're working your finger strength and everything as well so that's good so yeah my form on the clean and snatch probably not the best uh something you got to work on that's why i started with a lighter weight because i'm not trying to hurt myself that I can't do it anymore. Um, let me see here. It is... So it is uh, 36 degrees here 
just hiding my exact location there. Um, thirty six degrees and snowing here, so you can do this stuff. Um, just because it's cold outside shouldn't necessarily stop you. Uh, when I did my run, my jog to warm up earlier, I've got yak tracks on my uh, on my shoes to help with traction. Still be careful because I did all of my butt out there. But, uh, yeah. Uh, get on the path. Stay on the path. If the path for you right now is just making those healthy lifestyle decisions, you know, don't don't eat don't eat it anywhere that has a drive drive up window. Avoid those. Uh, <laughs> that's one thing you can do. Choose to take the stairs instead of the elevator or the escalator. Uh, if you've got to go a few blocks or whatever to get lunch, walk that if you can instead of hopping in your car and driving. But so those little those little decisions. That's what gets you on the path. Getting up to this point, you know, everybody's on a different spot in the path. Like, I'm way behind a lot of other folks. So, uh, but little decisions I still make like that uh, are, like, when I have to go upstairs, I take the stairs two or three at a time to uh, keep those legs limber. And thinking about, like, you know, a lot of the hiking I used to do when they had Adirondacks or stuff like that over bouldery terrain and everything like that keeps those, those types of muscles working, uh, those ligaments limber and everything like that. Uh, motion is lotion, as they say. So the more you do something, the more you can continue to do something. But hope you enjoyed that. That was uh, kind of setup plus day one. I'm still getting this setup kind of going here because this is not my space. So I'm trying to keep everything as small as possible, um, and also being able to keep it mobile so I can take it out of the way real quick if other things, if this space needs to be used for uh, other things. But hope you enjoyed it. I'll bring you along for the rest of the ride here and uh, hopefully you'll be giving you regular updates and stuff. But all right. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.